Okay, here it is. <clears throat> Here's a star cell with just magnesium. No doping. Okay, so I'm going to show you the voltage. There it is, 1.904 volts. That's the chemical that's doing the uh, the voltage. In other words, that chemical mixed with the rigel salts is what's giving you the energy. And there's Chuck measuring it. Now, here's another thing. We, we put the electrode on here. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the current meter and I'm going to show you something here. If you can see this. There's this little spark here when you do this. And see the current meter? So it draws current, see it? Which means it's got a pretty good impedance. And I would think that that's the chemical mixed with the rigel salts that's doing the effect for John Hutchinson's. At least we're going to test it now and see if it sustains. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I'm back with uh, the cell that I made from Epsom salts and I'm going to hook up the LED and show you just what's going on here. Now this cell has changed impedance and there is the LED coming right off this cell and it's cooled down and again the voltage so now can it sustain this all by itself we shall see but definitely this is just Epsom salts heated and melted and then the magnesium put into it there is no uh, sulfation occurred at all around the copper at all otherwise you would see blue or green or whatever and none around the magnesium and there is the LED and we shall see but I think this is a major chemical that's adding the energy now it's dried out pretty much it's it's rock hard so it went right back into being sort of Epsom salts and so I just thought I want to share this with you because this tells me something completely different that that this cell does now the next thing is um, is to drill some holes in a rock and melt this solution into it by heating the rock and uh, I'll probably use a quartz rock to do this but uh, there it is 1.9 volts when it first is heated up and you shove the magnesium and then in the very beginning when the salts are uh, contain the moisture from the heating when you put the current meter you could see in the first video that that this uh, draws quite a bit of current and, and now it doesn't draw that much current and I'll show you that so bear with me here and it's quite capable of taking a recharge so I'm gonna hook this up and show you the current meter That's all it's drawn now, which is about 100 mils, and that's at 24 volts. So, I'll hook it back up to the LED so you can see this again. As I said, everybody, I'm going to figure out what chemical is doing it, and then we're going to eliminate the chemical completely from our test, because we want a, a battery that that can uh, give us the effect without adding any strange 
or known chemicals that reduce energy. We just want the rock to do it. So here it is again. And this is a LED you can buy from Radio Shack. 1.7 volts in about 2 mils. So there it is. So how long can it do this? Thanks for watching.